Airpoint3, Southern FM, you're listening to Evan Day. That's part of the uh, some behind the scenes doing for a documentary which I was shooting in early January in the Grampians. The Grampians would have been hot up there when you were there? Well, initially, it's um, it, there's no water usually there because of the drought. Right. And then um, they got a huge, huge uh, downpour yep. across a few days. And I was doing, uh, so the documentary essentially was a hike I was doing from the southern tip to the northern tip of the Grampians, so it's right. about a 120 kilometre hike, and on the last, second last day, it started to rain, and really kind of rain, and then I um, finished this walk, and then the next day they got 200 mils that day, and then 200 the following day, and... 400 mils in Yeah, it just days. was pouring down Crikey. through there, and um, maybe not quite 400, but I'll wait. <laughs> we were Don't in let the trees get in the way of a good yeah, story, yeah. or a good documentary. There's at least over 200 mils of rain in that two days, and, um, and I was kind of staying at a mate's place after you know, this doing the hike. And I'm thinking, oh, this would make for such a great documentary moment from out there with this, you know, storm they haven't, you know, in like once in 200 years they were calling it sort of storm. And um, so, yeah, the writer in me was like, geez, that would have made for good, good drama. And then when I tried to get back into the Grand to get the Purple Marina, which I'd left, <laughs> couldn't actually get back in. Like, it was absolutely trashed and destroyed. The section of Mount Abrupt, um, came off and the landslide was a kilometre long. Holy you know, and the whole area like they shut down the whole Grampians. So I had to sneak in behind the road closed signs yeah. to get uh, yeah, to the, get my the, car back. The purple marina did it make it through it, the track? It did. I mean it was it was close to this landslide. And part of me was like, I wonder if I you know if you had a right. So you're driving in under it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah I actually Now what's the end point? You're looking at where, what are you gonna do? You're gonna put this make uh, a, a documentary? Yeah thing? yeah so I hope yeah so I filmed as I was walking along the way and documented the whole okay. walk, and um, were you on your own or you had yes. a cast and crew? Uh, no, just on my own. So I was shooting okay. with, uh, with my handy cam that we've got in here now, yeah. and um, I was uh, just kind of filming as I was going. So even though the hike was 120 kilometres, I reckon I probably did about 140 because you have to put the camera down, <laughs> walk, walk past it, <laughs> and then go back and get it. But yeah. Um, yeah, and so a lot of it sort of shot from from my point of view, and got. Lots of sort of great wildlife stuff along the way, and some extraordinary places. Have you been up in the Grampians much? Nah, not uh, not for a while though. I was up there probably uh, fifteen years ago, but not since. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been in a high school excursion or something in the back of the bus. But yeah, no, it's, it's an amazing area. I'd spent most of the time in the Vikings northern the Grampians. No, you look like you've been doing a fair bit this summer though, Trent. <laughs> Just a touch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what was great is going from end to end is how much it kind of. Uh, varies the landscape through there and you know because I've climbed most in the northern Grampians where it's all the climbing so I haven't been down in the south so um, it was interesting seeing all of that now the great thing is in eight days of walking 120 kilometres I saw three hikers on the tracks that's That's it it. you know at campsites at night I saw a few people which were good because that always see me kind of come trudging in after a hot day of walking and offer me beers, so... Um, <laughs> so Did Darrow come out of the garden? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, like, give him a beer so he doesn't mug us. But, uh, yeah, so hopefully we're going to start uh, editing the doco next week Excellent. and try and... Something like maybe Discovery Channel, maybe yeah. try and sell it to them, and oh, particularly right. I think overseas because we've got a lot of great footage with things like, you know, kangaroos and yeah. koalas and goannas and snakes, yeah. and they love that kind of stuff, yeah. so... Um, okay, yeah. Is it standing by your main? At eight point three, Southern FM, the Grampians. In the Grampians, yes. And you've had um, some uh, outstanding Australian hospitality by some people who put you up. I did, yeah. So as part of the um, documentary, I had because I had to walk through Halls Gap, and yep. I did a some a princely sum of one day of training for this hundred and twenty kilometre walk, and so after doing five. You know, days and about 72 k's in those five days, I was absolutely stuffed. And uh, the YHA, which is the Youth Hostel Australia in Halls Gap, put me up for a couple of nights really? very generously. And um, it was good just to kind of recover because, yeah, it's pretty exhausted. And the temp around then was getting to the high 30s. And yep. there's actually a good moment that'll appear in the, the docker when I got up on top of the Major Mitchell Plateau. 
and so I've set my camera up, and as you've been playing with it in the studio, you can flip the, the viewfinder around to, yeah. to see your shot, and so I'm like, oh, set it up and get the nice summit pose, so I sit there and I play around, get the camera all right, you know, and then it's kind of like, okay, now I look like I've just got to the top of the mountain, and like, bang, I get this cramp in my leg, I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I'm nearly falling off the summit of this mountain, and uh, so by the time I got... It reminds me when you fell off the bloody fence and stuck the fence in your leg when you're not oh, yeah. it, isn't it? <laughs> Lonely Planet Clyde yeah. said it's the best, <coughs> best youth hostel in Australia and I have to agree that was absolutely awesome. So if you're uh, up in the Grampians, anybody out there, or Trent, drop in there and for 30 well, bucks a night... Well, I'm through Hall's Gap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you do your next mega walk. And, 30 uh, large enough, that's it's right. It's extraordinary, yeah. 30 dollars. Showers, and, obviously. And, yep, you uh, get showers and facilities four, to cook. four bunks and you've got a huge kitchen which that's has nice. two of everything in there and they've actually got... Chooks running around and Calling veggie pads. Yep, absolutely. And it's all eco friendly, oh, so, nice. uh, which is good indeed. All these mountain ranges to myself, this beautiful fresh lagoon on a hot day. What else could you want in life? <laughs>